All right, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, it is Infrared here, and we are back recording. Yes. All right. Uh, as always, we have uh, Steven. Say hello, Steven. Hey. And we have Doc M seventy seven. Say hello, Doc. All right, guys. I'm solemnly <laughs> gonna say that for now. <laughs> get to the chopper. Yeah, get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. Quick, <laughs> get to the chopper. Ah, well. Uh, yeah. See, a lot of people believe that we're being a little bit more insensitive with Doc because he has an accent, but it's actually quite the opposite. Doc's a great guy, and yep. he kind of he he says he sounds like Arnold himself. So it was kind of after he brought this to our attention because we you know we don't want to say that. Uh, that we started kind of joking about it. So it's all in good fun, so please, no hate mail. You should be more kind to Doc, because English isn't his first language. Well, we are. <laughs> Apparently, people yeah. got mad at me for making fun of my little brother, but I wasn't actually, like, making fun of him. I was, I don't know. They got mad I at me because I was joking around with him in a damn video. I mean, this kid has admin <laughs> yeah. to my server. I must like him. Yeah. <laughs> and I... Like grew up with him, so you know I don't. Hate yeah, him. I didn't. We only make babies when he turns eighteen. Yep, I have to kind of oh, say that. Yeah, All right, when he turns eighteen. Anyway, sure. um, uh, you guys have already watched part one, and there was a little link beforehand. Um, if we go ahead and we ever make this a ever have a channel dedicated to this, we kind of want an intermission break, um, just in, for when we get up. So if anybody wants to throw together like a like a please stand by picture that we can put in you know in between it that'd be cool. Um, just contact any of us with like little Photoshop ideas that you have. It doesn't really have to be fancy, but just something kind of cool looking, kind of like those old school. Something to put between the videos since yeah. they all do appear on. Yeah, yeah. So they'll be all on one channel, and we want something kind of in between to. Yes, to kind of link them together. I don't know. Like a provide a transition, thing. I guess. Yeah. Okay, so we are yeah, off Be to... sure, guys. Oh, Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Doc. Please. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, be sure, guys. <laughs> Just to... I want to quickly refer to that accent thing again. Dude, that's total fun on here. That's <laughs> no offensive stuff going on. I had some PMs mailing me, come on, dude, don't, don't worry. You're good and stuff. It's okay. It's just fun. And nobody wants to be mean or rude. I mean... Um, if you looked at the part before, we were referring referring to Saul real quickly. I mean, we like him. This is a this is a show. We have fun with it, and don't take anything serious in here. What said? You know, we talk about serious topics, but we make a lot of jokes. So, guys, <laughs> just you know, <Yeah>. relax. <laughs> All right. So yeah. the next. So uh, you want to get into it? Yeah. The next order of business uh, is a topic about mo creatures. Um, Kind of a weird topic, I know, but, you know, it's something that has to be discussed. We, I personally love this mod. Um, it, it's single player only, which sucks badly, because I would love this to be um, more dedicated towards the multiplayer aspect of the game, because it's it's such a boring game otherwise. It, there, it's, you know, you go out, you got your zombie, you got your creeper, and, and there's really nothing else. I mean, what do you guys feel? Uh, any of you? Go on. Well, I can say I, I don't use it, so I'll, I'll let Doc talk about it first since he probably has a better opinion on it than I do. Well, I personally haven't used it in the game, but um, I've checked out a lot of information about it on the forums and other videos. And one of my favorite Let's Players, um, he's a German dude, his name is Gronk. He's really famous um, in the German Minecraft community, massive channel and everything. And he used it. And yeah, he said one of the issues about it, or that is, it's not balanced, right? You know, there are a lot of ton, shitload of animals all over the place, and then you have that ogres who who mm. rack up stuff all over the place. Okay, there's one cool thing to it. I mean, the breeding thing. You know, you you catch the horses and make flying unicorns and whatnot. I mean, that's that's insane, and I like it. I would have to, I would love to have a flying mount in here. I mean. <laughs> I would love to have a mount, period. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys are nerds. Yeah, we're nerds. That That's exactly it. Um, I don't know. I, I see, th the reason why I originally got it is because I feel that Minecraft by itself, even though it's a fun game and the creativity's there, it, it feels kind of empty. There's just so much world and not enough in it. 
as far as other uh, like NPCs. Right. So it adds that. Um, the I mean, yeah, there is some balancing issues that need to be addressed. There's a ton of monsters, you know, but I kind of that adds more excitement to me. I find even if I put it on the hardest difficulty and I go out and you know, I fight things at night. I can go out there with no armor, and I really don't have too much trouble because it's a very basic game. Everybody just runs forward and attacks. But with the variety that Mo Creatures adds, it it allows me to kind of stay on my keep on my toes when I, when I do play. Oh yeah, I can tell you the reason I I decided not to use it. Um, I know this is not a big deal, but because you can edit out which monster you want to do. But I didn't want to use it because of the ogres, because they do destroy your stuff. And I, you know, I'm not playing this as a role-playing game. I'm playing this as a, as a building and experimentation, you know, kind of science game. So for me, when I build something, I really don't want anyone to take it down but myself. So it's important for me that my stuff not get destroyed in the middle of the night. Um, and I know a lot of people do kind of like playing it for the adventure kind of stuff, but that's, you know, that's not really something I want to do. Now, I do like the horses since you yeah. can do the breeding and stuff. That's kind of the experimentation stuff I would like to do. But, I don't know. Yeah, Steve, you know, I don't really want to experiment wanna... with horses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, it'd be cool because you look at um, these mob sorters that people build, or the mob traps and things. I think it'd be genius to um, have different mob, like a, a one mob factory for every of the dudes and mo creatures. That'd be really cool. You know, yeah, just something neat like that. Um, but otherwise, that. personally, I don't have any use for it. I, honestly, the biggest you know part why, that I want to why I is didn't the use it. Yeah, you know why I didn't use it? Because <laughs> I'm I'm kind of I don't I'm afraid to mess around with the game. Um, yeah, too much. I only use my texture pack, the Misas HD. That's the one and only mob I will ever use on the game. I want to have it as pure as possible. I don't want to, you know, um, work around with the, the the game settings and the initial design of it. So that's why I'm really reluctant um, using it. It really tickles me. The, pre the breeding thing is an awesome aspect to it. But, yeah. well... Well, yeah, I mean, the breeding thing is an awesome thing. Um, I don't think it's, uh, it's spoiling the game. I come from first-person shooter communities like Quake and Unreal Tournament and uh, Half-Life and stuff where... The entire time that you play those games, it's fun and dandy, but after it starts getting a little bit stale, um, you have this huge community that's making mods and and just adding on and adding on and constantly uh, kind of expanding the game so it increases its life. And I think that's exactly what uh, Mo Creatures kind of obtains, uh, well, achieves. The, the fact that the horses were implemented is the best thing that they've done. Um, I Frankly, I could care less about the rest <laughs> of it. But the horses are amazing. The the breeding process. I made a video about it, showing off you know the what you can do, how fast these mounts are, and if you're kind of like me, when I build, I don't like to build on top of things. So you know, in my single player world, I had to run some distances, and I have you know a horse. I can just hop on and I can fly to it or run extremely fast to it instead of doing a huge long trek. And I hate mine carts because I suck with them. So. I'd rather have a mount I can fully control than <laughs> something else. Right on. Yeah, I think. Well, do you ha do you have any future plans of adding some of the more creatures feature into the server here? Well, the problem is, is that I I've been reading on the forums, and it says uh, when will this be in SMP? Not in the near future. That's what the developer says. I think he's missing out on something that I know is going to be a headache and a pain in the ass, and I'm sorry, but it's something that everybody would love. Immediately the first day that it's released, yep. it will be on my server. Um, and I will go through and I will edit the mobs and stuff to try to make it a little bit more friendly, but I definitely want those horses. I definitely want what, what it offers. To, uh, it'll be fun. I think it'll be a lot of fun, and everybody will enjoy it. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty sure uh, that in the future updates there will be some kind of a breeding feature in the original game. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm hoping for because yeah, then the only experience I'm gonna make with the more creatures thing will be on here. So that's a good thing. <laughs> but yeah, most definitely I won't use it in my world. <laughs> 
Yep, yep, yep. Do we think, um, as far as kind of a continuation of this, do you think it makes the game any harder or less hard, or do you think it affects the normal, I guess, the default difficulty in any way? Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, most definitely. Most yeah. definitely. Because of the variety of the mobs and what, they, what they're able to do, I mean, you've got wraiths that are aerial mobs that don't spawn just in the nether, and you've got flame wraiths that can set shit on fire. Um, you got werewolves that, in order to kill them, you need to make sure that you have a uh, a golden sword, stuff like that. And they're very aggressive, and they run very fast, and they leap at you, kind of like spiders do. Um, you got the ogres that can destroy shit. So, I mean, it adds a new, new element of challenge. It's not like back in the day when you, the only thing you really had to worry about were creepers. You know, everything else is pretty much just yeah. keep slashing away. I and mean, these are still hack and slash, but they add a little bit more devastation. There's a consequence if you don't fight them at the proper locations or, you know, if you don't know how to kite, right. stuff like that. So I think it does add an element of challenge, but a, a healthy element. Yeah, yeah, but there's one problem to it, I guess. I think, you know, just look at when the spider climbing ability was introduced, how much confusion confusion, and yeah, excitement it, um, it um, yeah, provoked in the Minecraft uh, community and people had to um, adjust their designs really really you know to make it spider proof and yeah. all that so <laughs> yeah, I think you know if you would introduce so new uh, mobs and everything do you have to be it, yeah do you have to be it, do it carefully you know step by step yeah, and slowly definitely. change the game experience you can't come with the, the more creatures mob and go boom there you have five new creatures I mean that probably could fuck up or mess up, excuse me, <laughs> uh, whole, <laughs> you know, whole concepts, whole, yeah, whole ideas and world. So I'm not, I'm totally not down to that. So no. <laughs> well, that being said, um, I showed, I showed Doc and Infrared, and we're gonna link you to this. Uh, Jeb, who I believe is uh, one of the head programmers for, um, for Notch's team, he kind of is leading the development at this point, while Notch is handling a lot of the. Um, other behind-the-scenes stuff. He released a video today showing the full implementation of the new wolf. And for those of you that don't know, it's a, a wolf that you find in the wild, and then you um, tame it like you kind of do with the horses and mo creatures. You give it a bone or a steak, so a pork chop, and it will follow you, you around, and it will never despawn. Yeah, hey, bacon. It'll uh, <laughs> it'll never despawn, and you can get as many of them as you want to. As far as I know, I think it'll probably be limited to five or ten, if I had to guess. Maybe seven. That's a magic number. But, um, so, that's kind of cool, because you can, they'll follow you around, and they'll, like, fight creepers and stuff that come after you, and I don't know if they're able to die. I imagine they are able to die, like, similar to what, how you are, and I think you have to heal them with, uh, with the, the pork chops or whatever, but I saw it today, and I was like, see, this is a good thing. This is how you implement creatures, slowly but surely, and as an awesome feature that's not pointless. Yeah. Yeah, but what you're gonna do when your real freaking wolf attacks a creeper right at your nice squid aquarium? They only I'm gonna kill my well, wolf. They man. only attack it if you attack <laughs> yeah. it first. So they they Is thought that how about it works? that. Yeah. Oh, okay. I noticed that when the, he went ahead and started hitting things, the wolves would then gang up. So it wasn't like they just randomly aggro things. It's not like they they're on aggressive yeah. for any of the World of Warcraft. Well, fans. for for the people that go out at night to just hunt creepers man this kind of changes everything this really if you think about it is kind of overpowered if you are worried about you know dying at night your first day you go kill a pig get a steak tame a wolf and then all of a sudden you know you're set for the night you put up in your house and you know you're good so well i, I think know. honestly yeah, even at you, night, yeah. yeah well the, the game already uh, i'm probably gonna argue with somebody on this i don't know who but the game already is easy as hell. I mean, it, you put a bow in anybody's well, hands, yeah. if they have any aim whatsoever, you kill anything. There's no real challenge once or you Or the bow. bed. I mean, look at the yeah. bed. You can skip every creeper cycle ever, so. But we yeah. should probably wrap it up. In for, right. Yeah, um, Yeah, guys. Uh, thanks for listening. We're going to take a little brief break, and then the next uh, topic and video will be from Doc. So... Thank you for Click watching. Click this link. Click it. Yes, I will have yes, a link at the beginning yeah. to the previous video, and I will have a link at the end to the uh, next video. So stay tuned. See you guys later.